Hello everyone. I am Rita, a dairy technologist and a food technologist. Today I am here to throw some light on the topic of A1 and A2 variants of milk. Cow has been one of the largest domesticated animals by the human beings and cows basically they are of two breeds, Bos taurus or the exotic breeds of cows and Bos indicus which is the indigenous breed of cows native to South Asian countries. They are also known as zebu breeds or the humped versions of cows. So from cows we get milk, yes. What are the components of this milk? Milk constitutes of water, protein, minerals, lactose and fat. Today I am going to focus on the protein part of the milk. So this is, uh, protein is, protein in the milk is further of casein and whey protein, two variants. The casein constitutes 80% whereas the whey constitute 20% of the milk protein. Further this casein protein is divided into alpha casein, beta casein and kappa casein. The beta casein here shows maximum polymorphism. Beta casein is the one which is responsible for this A1, A2 components or variants of the milk. So what happens exactly? Around 5000 years ago, a mutation took place. In the amino acid sequence of the milk at position number 67, an amino acid known as proline was replaced by amino acid histidine. Thus came into the picture a new variant of milk, A1 milk. So why is this A1 milk bad? Why is A2 milk good? What is this all about? Here comes the role of the devil in the milk. The compound known as BCM7 or beta casomorphine 7 which is a compound having opioid like properties. This BCM7 is associated with so many diseases like ischemic heart diseases, schizophrenia, sudden infantile death syndrome, autism and also type 1 diabetes mellitus. This beat, now this BCM7 plays a very important role in defining A1 milk as a bad milk. So what is the difference between a A1 milk and an A2 milk? As I told you earlier, A2 milk has proline which is very tightly bound to this BCM7 and thus it will not let the BCM7 get released into the GI tract of the person who is drinking this milk. Whereas in case of A1 milk, what happens the histidine is not strongly bound to the BCM7 molecule. As a result BCM7 will be released in the GI tract of the person who is drinking AI milk and thus lead to all these problems. A lot of research has been done in this respect but the result has not been very conclusive. There are sti still certain issues like whether it is sure, 100% sure that A1 milk is bad or not. This problem, this question is still there. But giving it a benefit of doubt, so many companies are now taking advantage which is a good thing because consumers nowadays are more health conscious than ever before. So A2 milk is present in the market and they are charging premier prices for A2 milk. This can be a growing opportunity for the farmers also. In the uh, other end, if we see, farmers can claim more price if they are giving A2 certified milk. So uh, one more thing I would like to say is that since the mutation took place only in cows, hence other mammals like buffaloes, goats, camels and even we humans, we produce A2 kind of milk. So there is a need to understand what is A1, what is A2. And I would like to say in the end and as a conclusion that I see A1, A2 concept as a future of milk industry plus as a future for the current breeding policies of India as well as world. Thank you so much.